Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. This is Mr. Ish. And every once in a while, we got to get the staff together. Um, the kids weren't doing it today. So now we have a all-staff, all-star cast. And um, we're going to talk about life, man. We're going to talk about what's going on in the world. Let's see, let's see if they know anything. Um, introduce yourselves, please. Uh, miss? Why, why? We always go from the left to the right. You know these things. Hi, my name is Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Hi, my name is Christian. Hi, Christian. Hi, my name is Christian. What, you, you, you don't know each other's name? No, my name is Christian, too. Oh, your name is Christian, too? Okay. Yeah, but mine's with a K. Oh. Mine's with a C. Yeah, with a C? Yeah. Okay, big deal. Um, <laughs> what's going on? I haven't, I haven't seen all you guys in a while. Um, what's going on, man? What's going on with current events? What's going on with high school? Talk to me. Brianna, what's going on with your Valentine's Day? What's going on with your nails? Talk to me. I need, I need to know all these things. Um... We're gonna start with college. <laughs> We're gonna start with college. All right, Ooh, let's go. Now, um, what's going on with school? Um, I'm in my second year. Okay. After this semester, I completed my associate's degree. All right, you got a little clap. I'm sorry. Got a little associate's degree. You know what that means, right? What? I'm gonna get paid more. Get pay more money. money. Gonna get that money. Um, okay, so you 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 happy about that? You almost done? Well, I'm not stopping there. I'm going for my bachelor's. Okay, that's good. While, while you while you at it, might as well just continue. Um, what what's your major? Um, human services. Okay, that's, that's you're gonna be a good you're gonna find a good city job, a minimum at least you're gonna find a good city job, a good union and good benefits and all that stuff. Good thing to fall back on. What about you, Christian? Um, Christian with a with a C. <laughs> uh, I'm a senior at on high school, so there's that. I'm preparing to graduate. You already did your, your school pictures your, yep. and all that stuff. It's January, man. <laughs> yeah, I already um, applied. I applied to every, all my colleges. You got your your, es- your essay ready for your for your colleges? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. You got your letters of recommendation? Yep. All ready. You filed all the financial aids? I need like two <laughs> forms. Uh, you messing up, bro. Yeah. That should, oh, should have been done already. Um, what else? What else? Um, I don't know why I submitted it and I uploaded it, but it's not it's not checked off in the yeah. application checklist or the status. You gotta, you gotta stay up on that, bro. Yeah. Because you I know what you know day. what happens with college, and, and and Brianna could tell you this. No one cares. You need to fo- you need to continuously follow up. They don't care. There's not gonna be somebody that's gonna say, you know what? Um, let me check. Let me check if his paperwork is done. No, you're an adult now. Figure it out. If not, your financial aid don't come, and guess what? You gotta pay. Mm. So be aware that no one, no one's gonna hold your hand anymore. So stay up on it. Check it every day. Same way you check your Facebook. Um, what about you, Christian? With a K, what's going on with you? Same. I'm in the same path as him. Right now, I got like 24 colleges that I signed up for. Literally 24. My two main ones are Baruch and John Jay. John Jay, good college. John Jay's right there in the west side. Yeah. So, you, so what's your major? What you want to study? I want to do criminal justice and probably architect or probably business. That's a big jump from criminal justice to architect. It is. I mean, I I, I studied architecture all my life. I went to architecture school and all that stuff. So I can't say that I, I want to go from architecture and I want to be a cop. It's two different things. But Definitely. good luck with that. You you good at math? Yeah. Okay. You know how to draw? Yeah, really good. I'm oh. taking class architect design right now. Okay, good, good, that's good. So you got you got a couple of uh, um, uh, blueprints that I can see. Yeah, I'll bring them in for you. All right, I want to check it out. Check it out. I want to see. Want see what you got. Okay. If you got something, Brianna, you got some of that some of that HR knowledge that you could bring to me. No, not right now. Christian, what to see? What's going to be your major, man? Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. I got three in mind though. Uh, physical therapy. Um, you just want to touch people. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's going. He want to touch uh, physical therapy, business, and the third one. Honestly, it's just all over, all over the place. I really don't know, but I got a top two though. I, I just so what's the third one? Just, just let me let me see. Third one, finance, but that's not. Well, finance is good too, but you know you could be a. Uh, like, you do something with finance. I'm just waiting to get to college to see what my real passion is and what I'm like really interested in and what I want to do. So. Usually, people pick colleges with their major. Like if you want to be. You know, mm-hmm. be in the in the medical field, you pick a college that has to do with nursing and yeah. and stuff like that. You can't wait till you get to college and then pick your major. I mean, you can. I mean, you still you still you know, still learning. Um, so besides that, what's what's um for the seniors? Um, what do you guys uh, how do you guys handle this year 
that's all basically all, all remote. You guys don't have a prom. You're gonna do, you're gonna do zooms. You're gonna get a yearbook. You took your school pictures already, so that means that you have a yearbook, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, but I mean it's rough. I didn't I didn't like this year at all with remote learning, learning or last year, but I understand because of the pandemic. But it was really disappointing. Plus, you can't you, you you can't have no booze, right? You can't you can't boo up at this time. And no booze. I'm on my shorty. And no booze around there. I'm on shorty too. I'm so you 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 had your shorty for about a year already? No. Yeah, I had a year with my shorty. Okay, yeah. What about you? Because because if you just found her that she you know she she not quarantined, you can't you can't be hanging out with people. You can't be can't be slobbing none of that stuff. I mean, that'd be easy with it. Like two months. You, you know her for two months? Now she should still be on a Zoom meeting with you. I don't trust nobody in two months. I I won't even give her my whole number. I'm dead. <laughs> I when when this is one of my this is one of my I'm gonna tell you one of my good lines. I used to tell people, you know, just to break the ice, so I'm a funny guy. Um, you know, you, back in the days, we used to ask a person for their telephone number. That was the thing, or their beeper number, or whatever it was. And I like here's my Facebook. No, we didn't do that. So I I used to ask them straight up. Like I don't even know. T- I don't even have to have your whole seven numbers. Just give me five. I'll figure out the other ones. And I was literally just go there and call all the numbers. Oh no! Yeah, nah, no come way! On. I call the numbers. It was a game, because I said it. So now if she only gives me five or six, then if it was if it was six, then I only gotta guess nine numbers. But if she gave me five, then I gotta guess a little more than that. So you know, you play the game, and and I guess she'll she'll be like, wow, he actually made the effort to find my number. And then it's they don't. Nah, it's not too much work, man. That's a lot of work, but she, it's the game, man. She appreciate she player, you appreciate numbers you have number. to go through. <laughs> Yo, players gonna play, man. And then so you, you call, you, you talk like, to you talk to her friend, and then you tell her. Man? Yo, it's that you don't understand. <laughs> you see, your 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 head is not it. I only asked her for five. I can ask her friend for two numbers. Uh, I'm like, yo, you know, she didn't give me all her numbers. Just give me the last digits. I find the other ones. And then you know you, you yeah, it's, make it you, you got a whole form book on make you, it fun. Right, like, like the whole yo, form book, you flipping man. pages, yo. Oh man, <laughs> players gonna play. <laughs> I'll give you that. Back then, y'all was smart. Like, yo, I met I met my first wife. I was trying to get her number. I didn't have a piece of paper. I took a I took a dollar bill and I ripped it in half. And I was like, here, write your number here, write your number here. And we had that dollar bill for like all all our lives. Right. She said you ripped yeah, the dollar that's bill. Crazy. Yeah, that's yeah, it. You couldn't buy it. Yeah, y'all saved the dollar bill. Yeah, that was our thing. That's no, nah, that's that's powerful. That's cool. So uh, you know, even even from that point, we're like, oh, everything fifty fifty. Because you take a dollar ah, and you rip it in half. Yeah. Come on, that's man. That's, come on, nah, man. Gotta I, take I can't tell you. Now. Come on, dog. Yo, you're smooth with it. I was a player, player, baby. I was a player, player. So smooth. I didn't even think about 50 50. Come on, man. man. You guys are youngs. No. I, my, my, I, let me tell you, my, my, my play game, my play game was my play game was at another level. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a play game. Smooth criminal. Okay. My my wife now. I'm giving another story. My, I th- did I tell you the story yesterday? The other day? How I, mem- how, I mem- how I met my wife? No. All right. No, so my yeah. wife now, she worked right next door to me. I worked in a video store. She worked in a liquor store. So, you know, I go to the liquor store. Um, I partay there. And, um, um, you know, I see a couple of times, cute girl. I think my cousin was working there too. And a couple of people that I know for many years. Um, you know, I go in there and say hi to, hi to everybody. Get my little bottle of wine or whatever. So... Um, you know, I started talking to her and all that stuff. Weeks passed by. I think one day I was like, hey, you know, maybe we could go out somewhere. And she was like, nah, I got a boyfriend. I was like, all right, cool. Never never brought it up again. Valentine's Day comes. I always buy the little the flower girls, you know, like the cashiers were always girls. Buy them a little rose or something, make them feel good about themselves. Mm-hmm. They gave me good discounts. So I get them a little rose, you know, friendly type of thing. Um, loved it. You know, hey, hi, everybody. See them every day. Then one day I went in there. What was it? That was February. So it must have been three months later. And, you know, I'm talking to her about something. And I'm like, well, you need to tell your boyfriend, you know, like, this is whatever, whatever. This is a good restaurant or something. And she was like, I don't have a boyfriend. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, so you broke up with your boyfriend? She was like, yeah. So I never asked my, my, my wife out or my girlfriend at that time. I never asked her out. I told her, I'm picking you up tomorrow. What time you get out? So she told me the time she get out and that was it. Gangsta. She was my girlfriend after that. That's how it is. I was like, yo, I'm, like, no, I'm trying to ask you out. Facts, you just got time to be like, yeah. What time you get out? Nine? I'll be here nine. nine. I'll be here at 45. Yeah. 
Well, where will we going? Wherever I want to take you. Don't like, worry. Eat, Surprise. movie, is, hang right? out, talk. We already were friends, so it wasn't like, you know, right. nothing was crazy. And that's it. 20 years later, two kids later, here we are. Perfect. Just make them. New York club story. You don't that's got to act. You just make them. Players got to play. Some girls want the aggressiveness. You got to be nice about it. Yeah. You know? But um, I can't tell you. I met all type yeah. of people. I'm not scared of nobody. I tried to talk to a girl when I was getting a ticket to the movie with another girl. Oh, you gangster. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, True. Nah. I bought my ticket. Yo, can I get two tickets, please? I look at her. I was like, oh, you started working here? Yeah. yeah right ticket. there. I was like, my first date. It could be my last date. How you doing, boo? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know her like that. I got to take her somewhere. Right. She was like, oh, well, I get out of this town. Okay. We'll talk about it. This meet you in outside. Uno's. <laughs> so I meet you in Uno's. If the date didn't go well, go meet her in Uno's. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Come on, man. My dating game was crazy. You got you got, game, you come on, my game was. <laughs> I don't even tell. I don't even tell my wife or I don't even tell my wife all my stories. Cause I, I mean, I don't think that she cares, but but she knows. She knows I was a player, player. She knows. What about you? You a player, player? No. <laughs> You never, you never try to, you never try to talk to someone, and since you were a little shy, and you have a twin sister, you, you throw your sister at her, and be like, yo, let me, let me see my sister could, could, she could hook like me you. up. She doesn't look like you. Thank God for that. Um, <laughs> come on, you don't got, you don't got no good player games. Boys, Whoa. I mean. <laughs> yo, I'm not, nah, I'm not huh? gonna put myself on. <laughs> Why not? I just put myself on blast. I give you all my secrets. That's, that's the I mean, that's and, married. <laughs> and that's the ones that I could talk word. about. I can't remember. I'm not married yet. Right? Reputation, right? Yeah. Right? Nah, that's reputation. Normal, yeah. <laughs> you don't got a reputation yet. You're 17 years old. I got a reputation. You don't yeah, got a no. reputation yet. Huh. Yeah, about done. <laughs> there's another girl. I'm going to tell you another girl. I nah, did. I don't know. He, he has a whole list. No, 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 no. Because God, whole I have a whole life. There was a girl. There was a girl one time that I liked her, right? And it was, it was. She was 15. I was. I was 16. So she was a year younger than me. And her mother wanted me, me to be in the Sweet 16. She said, "Yo, be in the Sweet 16 with my daughter." But her daughter liked somebody else. So she wanted her daughter to be. Her daughter wanted to be with somebody else. And I was like, "The only, re the only way I'm gonna be in the Sweet 16 is if I'm her partner." Just straight up like that. So I'm, that's the only way I'm going to be in the Sweet 16. And they were like, we, oh, we pay for everything and all that. I said, nope, I don't even care about that. I need to be her partner. If not, it's not going to pop. Because you know when you're the partner, you got to dance with them. You got to hold them. You got to be in the pictures with them. So I thought that was my end. And guess what? It was. I um, um, Her mom's was like, yo, he's tall like you and everything. I know him from back in the days, his family, all that. So they gave me the number. She was like, yeah, that's cool. And um, we just started talking. I think the first date was in Central Park because she lived by that area. We went over there. We talked for about three hours. Got something to eat. I went home. That's when people used to call people on the phone. Got on the phone. Spoke to, to her for like five, six hours. And um, that was it. We dated for about four years. Yeah. Yeah, my booby. Nah. What out there? Oh, oh, Chris wasn't there. Oh, right, good. That's it. It was That's like, it. Was it. It was, it was, nah, you wasn't there. Ah, but I think, I, think, I think you know who I'm talking about, though. It was like sophomore year, and I was like at a party or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And like, there was this girl that really, really liked me. We had a thing or whatever. Then I broke it off because she was too much. <laughs> and then, um, so we was at the party. I know them already because we cool with them, and her best friend is there. And like, me, I'm like, I mean, it's a party, man. I'm to look, <laughs> like. <laughs> so like, I danced with her best friend. And then, like across the party, you just see her. Her eyes just lit up, <laughs> on fire. Like she, when she saw her best friend doing, that, I was like, "Yo, I'm about to die." <laughs> and then, like I was so surprised, her best friend joins in, and we're <laughs> okay, let so the party. She was dancing. What happened? You was dancing. I'm gonna give you another a player player move in my player player chronicles. Um, sometimes, you know, with girls hang out, they hang out in a group, right? Mm -hmm. And not for nothing, you got to talk to all the girls. You got to talk to the ugly one, the skinny one, the cute one. <laughs> the, so you got to talk to all of them. No, but, <laughs> but, but, but seriously, you got to treat all of them the same. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, the you know, maybe the bit little bigger mm -hmm. girl, the heavy set girl, the one that you think don't pop, she's the one that's going to be like, yo, he's really cool, man. Like, you should, and he, she's going to help right. you out. So you talk to them all regular. You don't know, you don't know where it's going yet. I've been in, I've been in places where I, uh, all the girls are, are pretty, mm -hmm. and I just talk to all of them. I don't know how it's gonna end up at the end of the night, 
maybe I like you, but you like me more. So I'd be like, oh, okay, boo, let's go this way. So you, you talk to all of them, and you, that, that's the way you get to, you know, to know people. I have, you know, a lot of my, my good friends like that. That's a fact. You want me to write a book for you guys? Oh, my God. Yeah, the Player Player Chronicles? <laughs> I don't mind. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only 18. Only 18, come on. Yeah, I'm young. <laughs> my son, my son, I suddenly get none of my good traits. You, you know what it is? You gotta get the, the, you gotta get the thing that you're scared. Once you get that over, over yourself, like once you get that, oh, I don't know what she's gonna say. There's only two things they could say: it's yes or no. Facts. And if it's That's a no, keep and if it's a no, thank yeah. you, sweetie. You know, I'm sorry. Keep you know, moving. keep it moving. Yeah. You know. Now you know there's other people too that that are, there's other girls that are aggressive too. They were like, "Yo, yo, you gonna buy me a drink? No, <laughs> no. I would have bought you a drink if you didn't ask me. I would have bought you a drink if you didn't ask me. But now that you're demanding a drink, are you standing next to me? Nah, you good, good, boo boo. Keep on moving. My shorty be like, "You gonna buy me Chipotle? I'd be like, "I don't think about it. I don't think about it. I don't know. Oh man, um, it's expensive, man. It's expensive dating and all that, but um. You know, yeah. if you're gonna if you're gonna be in Chris knows in, about in that. certain places, <laughs> Chris knows about that. You know what it is too. I, I was I ain't gonna lie. To you. I was in the I was in the club. I was in the clubs and I was 14 years old. Oof. I was clubbing. I was DJing already. So I was always in the club. Thanks. So it wasn't like it, that. That wasn't new to me. And, and when you in that and when you in around that circle, you're gonna see 50, 60 girls a day sometimes. Mm-hmm. So you can't be like, oh, I don't want to talk to nobody. No. As long as you're cool with them, I mean, you tell them the truth. Hey, you know, I date people and that's it. You see me here next week with somebody else? Sorry, boo. And that's what it is. It is what it is. You didn't call me two days ago? It could have been you. For real. So You could have been up here in the DJ stage. That's booth. it. <laughs> Still be nice to them. Hey, what's up, girl? I haven't seen you in a long time. Hope oh, VIP. Here. We can't do VIP today, baby, because I got this other girl I'm talking to. Over. <laughs> you know? You can't, you can't do it all the time. I'll get you next week. So, you know. Player Chronicles. <laughs> That's going to be my new podcast. They still do DJ parties like that? <clears throat> DJ parties? I mean, I they like don't they have, have no more clubs club. no more. They have lounges now. Uh, and, I mean, right now there's nothing because, you know, the pandemic. But um, even with the lounges, lounges bro- are dope. I remember back, like, a few years ago, my brother used to go to the club at 18, but they closed that. And I was 21. About 10, 18? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I was 10, 18 before. It was 10, 18. I was in all the clubs. There's not one club I, I, in New York City probably. Even the Limelight. Even the gay clubs, I go everything. I didn't care. Yo, t- because that'd it, be where the most money. <laughs> not, not where the most money is at, but not everybody that's in the gay club is gay. That's true. That's Sometimes true. they bring. You know what I'm saying? True. You could be going to support your friend that's gay. You cool? I'm gonna support my girl that's gay. I want to chill with her. She chilling with her girlfriend. Her friend just came from upstate, and you know that's just her friend. Now there's two girls, and I'm the gay. If I'm gonna walk in there. You're like, oh. He don't look like he gay. I'm the, gonna dance with him. My, 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 how you call it? My, I, I, I'm gonna stand out mm-hmm. because while everybody's, you know, gay and all that, they're gonna be like, yo, this guy's not gay. I'm gonna dance with him. And then all of a sudden, boom, you're clicking. My brother told me the best thing you have as a friend is a gay wingman. Like, <laughs> oh, I mean, gay people are wonderful anyhow. Yeah, so they just, they, they, they just have young. a, they have a freedom that's just like, you know, a lot of, a lot of them do. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, if they're out. But if they're not out and they're still holding that inside and worrying about, you know, their parents and how they're that's different. But if they out there and they already, you know, told the world that they're gay, they're usually pretty free with it. They're always mad positive. I don't know how they do that every day. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm mad positive myself. I don't think there's, there's, there's much that I could say that, that would bother me. I mean, I, I come in here, yeah, as, I, as many problems as you have throughout life, I, I come in here happy every day. Because how, how is that going to help me I'm, do my I'm job? I'm just glad it normalized, like... The gay thing, because I feel like ten years ago was so different. Like you yeah, really so think about it? ten years ago was so different. It, yeah. Not a lot of well, people ten years to you, to you guys was a big deal. I'm talking about I had gay uncles, gay you know a whole bunch of people like yeah. in in my life. So I've never seen it any different. But now it's not normal in the sense that they could be a gay two people that are gay in school and people mm-hmm. know about it. You didn't really and find that. You didn't really find that deal. when I was in high school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, you didn't really school, find that. You would not say that in high school. Like, and I mean, there's, like, me, like, there's like a whole bunch of movies six. now, too. That Every time every time they do a, a, a high school movie or some type of movie, there's always a gay character in it. Yeah, and they have yeah. to. They have I, to th- I think it's cool. I don't know how real it is because I haven't been in high school for a long time. 
But I think that it's kind of cool because there is that kid or there is that girl is. that that you know they just they they say they're gay. I, I go to old boys school. I remember it was like this like two gay kids. Well, it was like okay, we say look, we're cool with you, but like I don't swing that way. Bro. Yeah, Respect that's it. The, but you my friend That's though. I, feel. I don't think I don't <laughs> like think that, I have that conversation that with anybody. Is. Like like you know like even with with it's 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 a thing in your mind. They be the is. best friends because they listen. <laughs> well, they have to listen. They mm. they want They want to. You don't understand with with a gay person. They want to know your point of view. And they also want to know what they're thinking. Mm. So, so that's why I think they, they're good listeners. Because if you're a gay guy, you want to know how I'm thinking because I'm thinking a different way. So if you're a gay girl, it's the same thing. You want to, oh, he's taking the male role while he's thinking of, but I'm you know, trying to think as a girl. So there's, there's, there's just people that if they're, they're good listeners, they're usually going to be good friends also. The best friend is the one that listens the most. Because you know, if you're gonna be talking to somebody and they're gonna be talking over you, then you're never gonna you're gonna tell them how you feel. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the best thing to have a friend that that really listens. I mean, that's 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 the best thing for a partner too. My my wife don't listen to me. <laughs> my, well, my wife cut me off real quick, but you know, I just calm down, I relax, and then eventually I might bring something up but again. But she don't listen to me. It's her point of view, and that's it. Yeah. It'd be, be like, like it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be, it'd be no, no, it's like that all the time. Like. <laughs> it's like that all the time. Same way. You learn how to work. You know how you, you learn like, you how to work with it. You know what type of thing it is. My mom, like, I say a factual thing, and she tells me, "No, that's wrong." Yeah, yeah. And then my brother will be like, "Mom, that's right," and she'll be like, "No." I told my wife something that was factual the other day. Yo, this absolutely that's not the way it is. She looked it up in her phone, right? She found out that it wasn't, and she didn't say nothing. But if it was like the the other way around. And she found out that I said something that was, you know, like not factual. Everybody, she'll keep yeah, on. She'll keep. Yeah, my you told you that. My mom and I said, but that, I said, I hope you looked it up, right? Mm-hmm. And she said, yeah. I said, so why don't you tell me that? Yes. Why well, I have to tell you? You already know. Yeah, but you didn't say nothing. You stopped the conversation. Like you were over here. Oh yeah, let me see. Is this? No, you looked it up. I was right, right? Okay, we can still continue the conversation. I'm not gonna be like, like you know, like oh, I'm right all the time. No, I, just, I was right for that particular point. Right. But at least give me credit for that. Yeah, fine. Mm-hmm. That's how I be feeling. Okay. She look up everything. <laughs> Christmas. I would be like, yo, bro. I could tell my wife that Christmas is on the twenty fifth. She'd be like, no, it's not. She would look it up. She don't. She don't believe nothing I said. She, so she she's one of those people. But you know, you learn to live with it. Yeah. I said nobody got no player player stories. Nah, yo, Chris, what's up with you, bro? No, I, I used to be a player when I was young. No, Chris. When you <laughs> come on, what about? I want to now I wanna hear your story. I want to hear a story. <laughs> I want to hear a story from a girl. Come on, Ooh. B. I think I know. You, yeah, you don't have to be a player, player, but like, <laughs> like you know, like you, you have to have some nice moves. Like then, you know, mm. there have to be people looking at you. And you know, you know how to brush it off and and play your play a game. No, no, you're horrible. Then <laughs> <laughs> you're horrible. What's going on with you? I don't think. Let me. See. I had a friend of mine. The girl I talked to used to go to Cape Bay, so like I'm not saying nothing to get myself in trouble. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody listens to uh, this podcast anyhow. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Um, I can't even tell you all my stories. Let me see if I have another good story. I don't think I do. Uh, uh, I miss clubs. That's what I do. <laughs> club, I club, club, clubs, club. clubs were clubs were a, a nice place to to meet a whole bunch of different people. And then it's from like all different barrels. Like you know, uh, one thing you should also try is not to date people where you live at. I think it's a horrible thing. Yes. Yo, I learned that from the heart. I learned that the <laughs> hardest I never, way. I never dated. You never seen me with someone. I never dated block. somebody that lived in my block. I did. And it was the horrible <laughs> thing. I never did. I it was the you. worst thing on the planet. I never did. Bro, like, and then when I dated people that, that you know, let's say three blocks away, a couple blocks away, whatever, um, I never brought mm-hmm. them to my block. Nope. I used to I used to hang, hang out on 119 Street. We walk down 118, down 120, 3rd Avenue, 2nd Avenue, but never part, you know, like did the the perp walk through the block. Nah, you don't have to know my business. So I never did that. My wife is from Brooklyn. Mm. So she ain't know me. She ain't know my, my reputation until I told her. Um who else? My first wife, did she know me? I don't think she knew me either. I met her in the club. She was from the Bronx. I lived in Manhattan, so I didn't know people. Plus, you know what it is? You don't want to know their reputation either. Mm-mm. You don't want to know if she's a thought. You don't want to know if she's a, you know, <laughs> what, what 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 it is. So you don't want to start off with that already in your mind. And um, I say another thing is, even though it's kind of hard, if she dated one of your friends, you, you, you shouldn't be dating her. Facts. You shouldn't bro be dating code. her. Girl code. Bro code. <laughs> you know, it's not yeah. bro code. It's, it's just not. like, you know, like if, if, right, if right. I liked 
If I liked a mm-hmm. girl and she already had a kid with one of my friends, mm-hmm. nah, I'm not gonna do that. Even somebody I know, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. So, so I, 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 that's why I don't get involved with no bochinche or, or no he says she said. Mm-hmm. I've had my cell phone number, and this is a this is a good example. I've had my cell phone number since cell phones came out. I've never changed my number. And you know, in between that, I dated, I was divorced, I had a new wife, and all that stuff, and you could still call me on my cell phone, whoever it is. If you knew me sometime in life and I had a cell phone, you could call me, because it's the same number. Yeah. It's not too many people that say that because, you know, oh, I broke up with him, he always called me, boop, delete him, hang up the phone. I never had to go through none of that stuff. Because you have to keep it real with yourself. We don't, we don't like each other no more. Sorry, it's not working out. Bye. Not working out. You don't have to bring another girl around her where you're dating her and try to make her feel some type of way. Me and you are not working out. I like you, though. Me and you are good friends. I like you, and I hope we have... I think all my ex-girlfriends are still my friends, except my ex-wife, because I don't want to be her friend. <laughs> oh, she's too much of a pain. But besides, I mean, I talk to her, but I don't pick up the phone and be like, hey, how you doing? I don't do that. But um, if I see one of my ex-girlfriends in the street, hey, what's up? See them with their husband, hey, what's going on? Like, I don't have a problem with that. It's that Drake song. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't bother me. Like, I know that type of hook in the club. <laughs> that, that don't bother me. So, uh, you gotta be respectful for yourself. You gotta be respectful. I guess you. You gotta set your own boundary. Yeah, if you're respectful for yourself. Uh-huh. You know. But the dating somebody else's baby mother and all that, it's never a good thing, man. Mm-mm. And it gets harder as you get older. Like, right now, if I was to leave my wife, um, I don't know who I'll date because everybody got kids. Mm-hmm. I mean, especially at my age. I'm going to find a 22-year-old? No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, so, you know, you're probably going to find somebody. And, and hopefully they only got one baby father. What about they got two baby fathers? And then mm-hmm. you got to worry about your relationship and two baby fathers. Mm-mm. Not that time. So that's a tough that's a tough gig. Um, my wife had no kids but mine, so, so that's goody. Mm-hmm. All right, play a Chronicles, man. <laughs> that's all right. I'm going to call play this. Chronicles. Be like that. You see this? If I, if I did T night, this is what I'd be talking about. <laughs> Yep. They, don't, they don't let me rock in Tina. I heard the, the older kids go crazy. Like, um, like the 10, 11, 12 year olds yesterday. Nah, that was, whew, yesterday oh, we, yeah. did, I heard we did three podcasts. Yeah. Ugly. Straight to it. I thought I had to stop a podcast because I thought they were going to go nah. at it. Now she talk, yeah. yeah. The, new, the, no, the new girl, she said something to another Oh, she was here girl. yesterday too? Oh. She said something to the other girl, and the other girl was like, What are you talking about? Like, Man, she, she just I, came in too. Yeah, I hit, right. the, I hit the pause. But I she, heard that, yeah. Nah. That she was like, She, she knew everything already. Yeah, yeah she, I don't know. Like, she, 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 got, know, the, she got the drop. Like <laughs> that. And she wasn't playing either. She looked aggressive. She looked like she was about Cardi B. She like she was about to hit somebody. Nah, she looked quiet. Like, when I came, she looked quiet, yeah, but damn. Yeah, yeah. Nah, she was she after the podcast, she was good. She was good. She was good today too. It'd be the quiet ones. They saw us. Well, be the quiet ones. Y'all look out for the quiet ones. I used to be quiet. Look at the look at the problems I got into now. <laughs> I used to be real quiet. When I was fourteen, I was quiet. I don't know what happened to me. I once liked the girl. And um I think my friend set me up to talk to her. And back there, you know, you sit on the bench and you talk to her. As soon as she came up, bro, I ran like if somebody was trying to rob me. <laughs> Word up. I, like, I ran. I was moving. She was like, what can I run into? I was like, shoo, 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 like Forrest Gump style. I think I, I think I spoke to her later on about that. Like maybe I was like about 12 or 13. I think when I was like 15 or 16. She was like, remember I used to like you and you ran away from me? I was like, bro, <laughs> I wasn't ready for what you were bringing. I said, I was, I, was about to get I, ain't know, I ain't know nothing. I said, but right now, I ain't running for nothing. What you got, boo-boo? What you got? You got five digits? I got the other, I got the other ones. You got fun in the book. Huh? My, I don't even, I had so many pickup lines. It was just like, but in my, all my pickup lines were really funny. They were like, they were more like icebreakers. Mm. Like my, my whole thing, and to this day, I'm just a, fu- I, I think I'm a funny person. My wife says I'm not. But um, I think I think I'm a funny person, so I could um, I could um, and this is a this is a quality that you should get in your life, is um, I could go to a room and know nobody, and be okay, like I'm not gonna sit in the corner, no, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna be in that room. I'm gonna talk to somebody. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Where were you? And I'm gonna start a conversation. So you could leave me. Yo, I'm going to the bathroom. Okay, at a at a let's say a a, a job function or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know nobody here. That don't that don't even work with me. In about twenty minutes, I'm, I'm good. My wife likes that about me, but she hates that about me. 
But that's good because that's how you get connections and networking yeah. skills. She like the first time I went with her to like, uh, you know, one of those Christmas parties. Just opens new doors and opportunities for you in the future. I didn't know nobody. That's true. They were all speaking different languages, French and Italian and all that. She like, I gotta go over there and talk to my boss. And I'm, no, I'm good. Twenty five minutes later, we singing, we karaoke, and we. He was like, for real? Was like, yeah, Tom came over. Yeah, the weather. And I was like, wow. Yeah, and my I, son Tom. Yeah, I was, I, I was acting like I knew these people for for a long time. So she hates that about me because I'm I'm very I'm very open and, and talkative with people, but um you know she she'll sit in the corner she'll look at people not me, mm. I'll, I'll try to get my dance on or something. See I'm like that and then again I'm not like that. I don't know I have my moments. <laughs> no. Well I'll be like nah, I don't know you I don't know you. Yeah. But time is not then uh. I get, then I get reminded like oh, not working. Let me try it. <laughs> but you have to remember time is not guaranteed. I'm mean, not guaranteed, and, and you know things come and go fast. The same way you guys want uh, gratitude fast now, you know. Oh, I want to do something. Look it up real quick. You know, everything. Everything is phone. Everything is is. I need to know the information now. The time is the same way, man. I said before there was that kind of a rule. You wanted to date somebody. You, you, you know. You let's say you go on the first date. You wait like a day to call them, and there was like a, a whole process. Oh, I'm gonna beep her. Thank you or hello, and then let's see if she gets back to me. No, nah, whole process. Nah, there's no time for that. But we're going on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Mm-hmm. Like, set it up. Thursday you could cancel, but not Saturday if I got tickets somewhere. Mm-hmm. Okay, set. You know, you set up the whole week. I got no time for this. I got three outfits, and I got to wear them these three days. Facts. Set. I got, I got paid That's on the right 15th. Down. Everything else on the, yeah. on, the, on the other days is going to be local. Park. A walk, simple. you know, exactly. you know, stuff. You gotta keep, you gotta keep Come on, stuff that's simple. That's on payday, payday. Maybe we could payday, go to yeah. to the movies. movies. Maybe the next day we could go to you the know steak steakhouse, yeah. and maybe another day you know we could do something else. And the following day, we are playing part cheesy. Yep. We are playing cards, <laughs> yeah. uh, Netflix, and we are doing things that are very local. I, oh, I, I go see shows. your yo, oh, yeah, you want oh, my, yeah. your mom's want to introduce yeah Thursday I could go see your mom. We have dinner <laughs> like everything is cheap, and then the next week you set you, you set it up again. Facts. Come on, you gotta keep it doing. Always <laughs> like that. Come on, play a Chronicles. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be my new yo, podcast. Yeah, I was just gonna say yo, okay. my, my new play podcast is Play a Chronicles. I got nobody to talk to, man. I got nobody to talk to. I talk to a five year old. I can't talk to a five year old about my Play Chronicles. I got to tell Daryl that I need to be on Teen Night. Yeah, I got a new podcast, Play Chronicles. Yeah, that's a good idea, no cop. I'll be nice. Huh? I, I, you know, it's gonna be crazy when the girls tell you how they play. Mm-hmm. Mm. Play it's gonna they, open a lot of eyes. Yeah, when they, <laughs> like, when they, huh? I, it may have to be that we they come in here and we don't we don't say their names. Mm-hmm. And nobody say their names. <laughs> Might even say the voice. Okay, oh we got only one guy? Oh here he goes. Only one person? All right. All right guys. Well thank you very much. Uh first episode of Play Chronicles. I appreciate you guys and we'll get back to this one soon. <laughs> We're out of here, players. <laughs>